Hello, everyone. In this experiment, I will give you a brief introduction about PWM technology and make a breathing night on Raspberry Pi platform based on PWM technology. Before we formally start doing the experiment, let's do the phenomena of this experiment first. Pulse wet modulation commonly refers to PWM. It's a digital coding method for analog signals. Since a computer cannot output an analog voltage but digital voltage value 0V or 3.3V, we change the duty circle of square waves to encode a specific level of analog signal by using a high resolution counter. PWM signals are essentially digital signals. For the full amplitude DC power supply is either 3.3V or 0V at any given time. Voltage or current source is applied to an analog load in the form of on or off repetitive pulse sequence. When it is on, DC power supply will be applied to the node. When it is off, DC power supply will be disconnected. If only the bandwidth is wide enough, any analog value can be encoded by PWM. The output voltage value is calculated by the on and off time. The output voltage equals on time divided by total time and then multiplied by the maximum voltage. Here is the introduction to three basic parameters of PWM. First, duty circle. It describes the proportion of on time to period. Second, period. It describes the reciprocal of pulses in one second. Third, voltage amplitude. For example, 0V to 3.3V. In this experiment, we need the following components. An LED light, a 220-ohm resistor, and two bound wells. Raspberry Pi has only one channel GPIO with hardware PWM function. That's GPIO1. If you want to use multi-channel PWM, you need to use the method of software to achieve it. This experiment is based on hardware PWM. Let's build the circuit. Connect the allot of the LED to GPIO1 through a 220-ohm resistor. Connect the cathode of the LED to ground. So at this point, we have built the circuit. Next, we start programming. Now, we log in Raspberry Pi. Enter into test directory and home. Create a file named pwmled.c. Open this file with VIM. Next, we start writing code. Define GPIO1 as the pin used to control the LED. Next, we write main function. We set the LED pin as PWM output mode. We write an infinite loop to make the LED run the effect of breathing. Make the duty circle get bigger and bigger from 0 to 1023 so that the LED gets brighter and brighter. Make the duty circle get smaller and smaller from 1023 to 0, so that the LED gets darker and darker. That's all for the code. 
compile. We can say it reports an error, pwm out undeclared. We go to modify the code. Run program. Here we can see the LED is changing from dark to bright gradually and vice versa. It's similar to animals breathing, so we name it as breathing night. Press Ctrl and C to terminate the program and exit to terminal. That's all for this lesson. Thank you for watching. See you next time.